a frantic citywide manhunt ends. A 25-year-old fugitive captured after Detroit police spent the day searching neighborhoods and blocking street corners looking for the violent suspect. We have been uh, searching the city, following up lead after lead after lead. It began shortly after 8 a.m. on Monday. Abraham Pearson was in a holding cell inside this Detroit courthouse, awaiting his sentencing for carjacking and armed robbery. When an unarmed deputy removed Pearson's handcuffs, the inmate attacked him with a comb sharpened into a weapon, a brutal assault with no other deputy around to help. This is a huge building, obviously, and we have limited number of people with different responsibilities. After stabbing the deputy several times in the neck, Pearson snatched his clothes, keys, cell phone, and radio, bypassed building security by taking the prisoner elevator, and walked right out the front door. He then carjacked a minivan outside police headquarters. The woman was screaming, help, help, he's got my car, help. Her vehicle was found smashed into a cluster of trees two miles away. He said, get out or I'll kill you. And, and I got out. Soon after, Pearson disposed of the deputy uniform. It was found underneath this red Jeep. There seemed to be no break in the case until late in the evening when someone spotted him walking near Interstate 94. Pearson, seen here in the back of a police car, is now back in jail, where he faces at least 11 additional charges. Yeah, you can bet he does. What a story. Now, we're told that the deputy who was stabbed is 63 years old. The good news, he did not suffer life-threatening injuries. He was treated, released, and he's now recuperating at home.